Good day for the people. This is Red Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. How are you guys doing today? So I don't know. I didn't make, get to make a video this morning, but I'm making one now. First, I want to show you guys this. This is what my daughter's got me uh, for Father's Day. Uh, Journey and Tara. So uh, engraved cutting board. So I haven't used it yet. I uh, just got it in, but I haven't used it. I had to cure because it had some oil on it. Um, so I did follow the instructions. I don't want to split it or whatever. So I figured well, the best thing to do on a cutting board is eat some fresh pods. I just got these in um, a couple days ago from uh, Linda's Fiery Treats. Linda McNew. Um, so this is a big brown mama. So look at the size of this pod, guys. Okay. You can see it's huge. So, and there's the inside of it. Gnarly looking pepper, guys. Um, I got pictures on my Instagram, uh, Red Grizzly Heat Griffin. Check out. So I figured um, it'd be great to break this in with one of the, these really nice pods from Linda McNew. She's growing some great peppers. Um, some really cool ones in there. Some that I've never heard of. Excited to try. So um, this one here. Like I said, it's a big brown mama, and um, that's a big pot, guys. So, anyway, you're here to check it out. Um, she does a really cool labeling system. She's got a, a number on each one, then she sends a corresponding sheet. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And I got to cut it on the new cutting board. Really cool. So anyway, guys. Um, gonna mac this pod and we're gonna see what happens um it smells hot um it's really oily so we shall see red griffin grizzly heat stay spicy pepper people Big pod. A little bitter, um, and just a hint of floral. Um, if you see that green in there, that can contribute to that. I'm learning a lot about pods for my first real pod season. So, um, sides of my mouth, tongue burn, tip of my tongue, it's pretty hot. It's a legit pod. Um, I don't know how hot that is as far as Scoville. For me, it's probably... I mean, three or four. It's a good hot pod. Um, it's growing. I said my tongue. My tongue is on fire now. Migrating back a little bit. Yeah. It's a good one. Got a bunch more I'm going to be eating from her. Um, working my way through the pods. <clears throat> I feel that on my throat now. Yeah. One thing I'm learning about pods, so you do tincture or whatever, ramps off pretty quick. Pods hang out with you for a while. Um, stay with you. Fresh fresh peppers at least stay with you. Um, yeah, that's a good four, that pepper. A good one. Mouth burns. Pretty legit. Like it's kind of mellowed out, but yeah, it's pulling the back of my throat. 
um, the very like the top back part of my throat and my tongue and it's kind of the tip of my tongue radiating back in the sides in the sides of my mouth the big pot had some oil in it go to my Instagram you're gonna see it um, but there you go big brown mama from Linda McNew good pepper I liked it uh, thanks for tuning in guys um, hopefully we'll be back later if not we'll see you guys in the morning um, maybe Sunday I might not get a video in but definitely by Monday happy fourth um, you guys enjoy the holiday um, hopefully we get to spend time with the family we're gonna barbecue we're actually gonna do it Monday so uh, with some friends family well, pretty cool thanks for tuning in guys love every single one of you and as always stay spicy pepper people